hi guys welcome back today we are going to see how to find even and odd numbers in python so what's in this video introduction i'll explain the mathematical concept then we will see uh, we'll write a python program a simple python program to find if the number is even or odd then we'll slightly modify the program to use range and we will use some range and find uh, all the numbers in uh, we'll try to find out if the numbers in range are even or odd then we'll count the odd numbers and even numbers in the range we'll do the similar thing for list so we'll find all even and odd numbers in list and we'll count even and odd numbers in list so there will be total four or five programs in this video and then finally summary well i have taken up example of beer uh, so uh, don't please don't visit bar after watching this video uh, especially in this pandemic all right so if you have uh, one beer among two friends so uh, uh, it's it is difficult to divide or uh, share with your friends if you have two it is easy so if it is easy to uh, share it's even number so two is even number three it is difficult to share odd number four it is easy to share even number five years it is again difficult to share it's an odd number six beer it is again easy to share even number seven beers odd numbers so that was a quick uh, concept of even and odd numbers let's see the definition a number which is divide, divisible by two and generates a remainder of zero is called as even number an odd number uh, when you divide on number with two you get it is not divisible by two and you get the remainder as one so even number modulo operator two you will always get zero for example four divided by two the remainder is zero odd number modulo operator two will always return you one for example five divided by two you'll get remainder as one so that was the big concept and let's go back to the program now so to find a number uh, so i need to find a number i need to decide if it is even or odd so for that i need a variable number equal to for example 4 and then i'll have if condition where uh, number modulo operator Two equal equal zero. If it is zero, I'll print number is even. Else, I'll print. number is odd okay let's try to run this program hope it runs there's a typo 4 is even number if you pass 5 5 is odd number so our first program is done now we want to do the same thing but for multiple numbers in range so write a for loop which will get number in range range from you can say 1 to 5 1 to 6 okay i don't need this number variable now
try to run this program 1 is odd, 2 is even, 3 is odd, 4 is even, 5 is odd. Okay, so you are able to find uh, if the number is odd or even using range function. Now, if you want to count the uh, even numbers and odd numbers in the range, so I'll need a variable which will keep track of uh, count of even number which is zero as of now even or count which is again zero as of now starting the loop and as soon as you find an even number what you can do is you increment even count equal to even count plus one and if you find odd number what you can do is odd count equal to odd count plus one and then finally you can print count of even numbers uh, even count to print odd count now odd numbers okay finally you are getting there are two even numbers and three odd numbers all right so this was a simple program to find even and odd using range function now try to do the same thing using list create a list list of numbers okay and pass this list here instead of range and you're done the program works for 1, 2, 5, 6, 7, 5, which are the elements in the list. All right, let's back, let's get back to our slide. So what did you learn in this video? Uh, we understood the concept of even number and odd number with the example of beer. Don't, uh, alcohol is injurious to health. Please remember that. And uh, uh, we, we were able to write the program in python to find even and odd number then we try to find uh, even and odd numbers in range and then we do the did the similar thing for list uh, if you want to uh, uh, copy this program or uh, you want to run this program for yourself uh, i will upload this program on git and the link to uh, git repository is mentioned in the description Friends, if you like this video, hit that like button because that will inspire us to make some more videos in the future and comment and let me know how did you uh, find this video, if you like it, if you uh, want to see more videos uh, or if you want to, if you want me to cover some another topic in Python or Java or any other technology uh, and subscribe because that will help you help us to grow our channel. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.